Okay, so welcome to 20 minutes Pilates with a cooking spoon or a ladle. Let's get cooking. So, we're just going to start with an ordinary roll down, holding your spoon in front of you. So soft knees, pelvis tucked under, and we're going to roll down, keeping the spoon sliding along your thighs. And then, well, we can try sliding along all the way to the shins, to the ankles, depends how far you go. And then zip up and hollow and roll back up. Nice and tall, pelvis into place, engage pelvic floor. Let's do a few more of those. I'm going to turn sideways. So soft knees, pelvis under control. Chin to chest, rolling down. Nice and relaxed. So I'll find by um, actually attaching the spoon to my shins, my neck doesn't want to relax, so make that your challenge, let your head relax. Rolling back up. Okay, we'll do one more. Well, this time we do an experiment. So slide the spoon down your thighs, all the way to your knees. And then go lower down much, just let the spoon hang, so no touching of shins. I think that gives that relaxation in the head that we want. So they're both good, you just choose which one you prefer. So I'm rolling up with the spoon, swinging, not swinging, hanging. And then as soon as I come to my knees, I'm sliding again. Okay, take the spoon behind your derriere, so just place it under the shelf of your buttocks. Same thing, we're going to roll down, trying to keep the spoon in touch with the back of your thighs. So rolling all the way down to the ankles, zip up hollow, roll back down. But it was a glitchy point on coming up. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Let's do that again. And zip up follow. Yeah, definitely a glitchy point there. Well, Definitely have to tuck on the loads to not lose contact. I'll do one more, and this one's slightly different. You've got to roll down until your spoon hits your kneecaps. Then you're going to float your arms backwards up behind you and continue the roll down. So you're trying to reach your arms as far over towards the ground as possible. Uh, that bent knees again, keep the spoon up, start rolling up, and then it just naturally floats down. Until we're standing up again. Okay, we're going to do some front to back. So we're going to roll down with the spoon in front, pass it through your legs, and roll up with the spoon in the back. Here we go. Soft knees rolling down. All the way down, so you choose an option whether you're touching shins or not, up to you. Pass the spoon through to the back and rolling out the back. You can float up and rise if that feels right. And then we've got to reverse it, rolling down, spoon on the back. Pass it through your legs to the front. And rolling up the front. And we're just going to do that one more time. Down the front. Passing through. And up. 
And then last one from back to front. Passing it through, rolling up front. Okay, we can face forward again. Take the spoon in one hand. We're now going to draw nice big circles, as big as you can, and now start curving down. And so basically, you're drawing a big circle with the spoon, as big as you can. You're going to go four times in each direction. Reaching up, but over the rainbow. Or you could imagine you're standing in a bubble. And the bubble is ever expanding from the inside out because you're tickling the bubble with the spoon. And then change spoon to the other arm and do four to the other side. Cooking will never be the same. better stretch. Okay, right, holding the spoon in both arms, float the arms up, soft knees, we're going to rotate, now explain that better, so we're going to do our normal rotation roll down the side, but this one we're going to be really precise, so no twisting of hips and knees, Hips, knees stay facing forward, and it's just your upper body that rotates, and then the spoon comes down like a normal roll down. So the spoon will be level, not tilted, and will be parallel to the floor. Right, so up and rotate, and start bending up and over. Make sure the knees and hips are forward. Your spoon is now parallel to the floor. Ooh. And then we're going to roll down a little bit. Come up the same way, float the spoon back up to the ceiling. So shoulders, hips, knees, everything is front on. And rotate to the other side. Hips, knees stay forward. Start rolling down, spoon parallel to the floor. Roll down further, make sure the knees and hips stay forward. And coming back up the same way. And float the spoon back up. One more time each side. Hips, knees stay forward, rotate. And rolling down, up and over. Spoon parallel to floor. And rolling back up. Oops, almost lost my spoon there. And last time on the other side. And roll it back. Okay, just keep holding on with both hands onto your spoon and we're just going to stretch ourselves along, bring the shoulders up. Push the shoulders down and we're just going to stretch to the side as much as you can. And coming back to the center. Shoulders up, shoulders down, stretching to the side. Okay, we're going to make this a little bit harder. Shoulders up, shoulders down, stretching to the side. Now you're going to pick up the opposite leg of what you're standing on. So you've got a little balance. Good. Place the foot back down. Recover. Shoulders up. Shoulders down. Stretching long. And then pick up the opposite leg. And recover. 
One more time, making it a little bit harder still. Shoulders up, shoulders down, stretch, extend. Now you're going to float this knee forward as you come back to the center. <laughs> Much harder, isn't it? Last one. Up and down and stretch away. Extend leg. And then float the knee forward as you come back upright. And recover. Well done. Legs wide. We're going to do figure of eight swings. So imagine you've got magic fairy dust on your cooking spoon. You're making huge figure of eight around your legs. Okay. So round, pass in the middle, and the other way around. I'll need to come further forward. I'm hitting the curtains. There we go. So let's do that first with the legs straight. So I'm holding the spoon in one hand for the moment. And then let's see how far you could go if you held the spoon in both hands. Oh, and then one hand needs to let go so you can pass it through. And both hands round as much as you can. One hand needs to let go. Okay, we're going to come back to the one arm version, but this time we're also going to bend into the direction. So we're going to go for some sideways lunges, yeah? So that should increase the figure of eight. Three lunging sideways, making it ever bigger figure of eight. Or oh, you could call it the infinity sign, isn't it? Not much further to go for Cossack squats. Okay, keep going. Uh, we're going to do both hand versions. So both hands on spoon and pass. Both hands on spoon, pass. Both hands on spoon, pass. Both hands on spoon, pass. One more each side. Okay, then stop in the middle, soften the knees, and gently roll up. Okay, so we've done some fairy magic. Now let's do some Harry Potter magic. You might notice I'm dressed in my house colors, and I'm wearing my Hufflepuff socks, especially for the occasion. So, for Harry Potter fans, we all remember swish and flick. So this is your wand now, okay? So it's Swish and flick, swish and flick, swish and flick, swish and flick. Okay, now try that with your other hand. Swish and flick, just feels totally wrong doing that with my left. Swish and flick, swish and flick, swish and flick. Okay, changing again. Now, on the flick, we're going to balance, okay? Swish and flick. And again, swish and flick, swish and flick, swish and flick. Try the other side and swish and flick, <laughs> swish and flick. I think we need to work on those magic spells a little bit more. Swish and flick, swish and flick. Now, if that was easy for you, on the swish, we're now going to go into a side lunge, okay? So, swish and flick. Swish and flick. Woo! <laughs> swish and flick. Swish and flick. That's quite hard. Let's try the other side. And... Swish and flick. I can't swish with my left. It's ridiculous. 
swish and flick. But my balance is better. Swish and flick. Swish and flick. Very good. So, that was a bit of magic for today. Let's come back to some serious business. So, we are going to have calf stretch. So, nice and parallel. Actually, it's an everything stretch. So, calf and hip flexors. And then we're going to put the spoon back up and you lean forward. So, your arms, spine and back leg are aiming to be one long line. Hope you all got your surround mirrors ready. So for most of that, that means push the shoulder blades right down and see if you can bring the arms a little bit higher because they're usually out of line. That's it. If you have that stretch to your calves and also engage the core. Okay, you're going to lift your back heel off the ground and come upright. So we should be in a really nice long stance. Okay. And that's probably a good stance there to now go into a squat. So bending our knees into a squat position. Mine is a little bit small, so I'm going to bring that leg further backwards. Okay, very nice. Bring the spoon back forward. Tuck under. And then you're going to rotate yourself round towards your front leg. So rotate round as much as you can. And then curve like there's a, a drill coming towards your belly button so you want to curve yourself away from that drill and then coming back to the center open your arms up spoon to the front that's it and we're going to do another swish and flick so that back leg just comes to a balance swish and flick Very nice, other side. So, nice parallel stance. Pushing the hip forward. Bring both arms up. Making sure that the upper arms are in line with your ears. And then leaning forward so that your arms, back and back leg are one long line. Tucking under, enjoying the calf stretch. Lengthening. Okay, bring your body back upright. Lift the back heel up, and we're going to come to our lunge position. Again, I need to adjust, you might be fine. Tucking under, feeling the hip flexor stretch, bring the arms forward. Tuck under more, making sure the weight is exactly between both knees, legs. And then rotate towards the front leg. And then the drill is coming towards your belly button again, so you've got to curve away from the drill. It's still drilling, so pull the belly in, curve away from it. And recover. Bring the body back forward. Take your spoon into the side. Swish and flick for balance. Swish. And flick. Okay, well done. Okay, we've just got one little thing to try. This is for the, um, so we've done the magic, this is for the circus. I have not rehearsed this, so it's probably going to go very wrong. We're going to just flick it up and catch it. I knew that would go wrong. <laughs> so, like you do with a frying pan or with the omelette. You got it. So this is the coordination part of the class. <laughs> oh, got it. Okay, and then try that with your left hand. Good luck. I've got it, I don't even know where to start. Oh, got it, first time. I can see we've got a drummer there, can they do that loads with the sticks? So your next challenge up from this would be doing this with two cooking spoons at the same time and then get a third one so we get to clap swinging in. Okay, let's just do one nice balance. Um, and 
actually let's have our feet slightly turned up like a la ballet. Spoon to the side, I mean arms to the side with the spoon up. Okay, push the shoulder blades down, tuck under, long spine, and we're going to rise up. And then we're going to tiptoe around. Very nice, I'm going to do spoon curtsy. So you swirl the spoon and curtsy. Okay, off into the kitchen for some cooking. Well done.